Morning guys, well, that's breakfast on the, the patio over. <laughs> breakfast, he says, the bloody sun ain't even up yet. Right, what are we on today then? Well, got the uh, continuing struggle of the farmers throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Um, oh yeah, a new incoming dictator for us, but we don't know who yet. Um, oh, and a little bit on the immunity to the big farmer. I've got a little bit to say on that. But uh, let's see what we get. Morning people, welcome back on a slightly overcast day today. Sorry about the shadows, I've had to put the lights on today. <laughs> no, um, well the channel seems to have stalled a bit at the moment. Um, I don't think that's lack of subs. I think that's more to do with the, the faceless cowards, but I had a go at them the other day, so I'll leave them alone for a bit to see what else they can uh, come up with to harass people online. But uh, now I talked about this the other day, um, about the silence of mainstream on what's going on with the farmers around the world. Um, Europe is up in arms, the EU, with what they're doing there, trying to take their homes, their land, destroying their crops. Um, the same in New Zealand, um, Canada especially, Trudeau's blaming everybody bar himself, but he was the one that did it all over there and bought it all in. Now, they want us all to eat plant-based food, yet they're destroying plant-based food. This doesn't make sense to me. Um, as I keep saying, this can only be to control us. If they control our food, they control us. You tow the line or you don't get fed. Simple as. And this is a worldwide issue now. And mainstream media are just complicit in this by hiding this. They're not putting this out there, so we have to. So if you see any videos about this, share it, please. But uh, so whoever gets to, I was going to swear then, I always say screw this country up even more and run it even more into the ground. They're going to be travelling to Scotland along with Boris and probably quite an entourage including security and a few others but who's going to pay for this we are of course how much is it going to cost for all those people to go to Scotland from London just to shake Mrs Queenie's hand and say welcome to the Parliament you're telling us to save money Scrimp where we can. Set, where are you going, cat? Okay. <laughs> I'll let you out in a minute. <laughs> Hang on, folks. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird animal. <clears throat> but yeah, they're all going to go to Scotland just for this quick phone call would have sufficed a video call would have sufficed it's not as if mrs queen had done that before you know they're telling us to save money they're we're telling us to scrimp save put up with hardship yet these assholes just run riot with our money spend it on nothing like our energy bills we're told to put up with it suffer through not being able to pay the bills, cutting down on the amount you use, which interferes totally with normal life. Yet these corrupt assholes get their bills paid for them on expenses. 
<laughs> Go figure. Yeah, how much longer are we going to have to put up with this shit? Now, again, something I've brought up before. They've now given immunity to Pfizer, Moderna and others from prosecution of the side effects of the shit they pushed on us and terrified a lot of people into taking. Now, they're giving them immunity. Well, they already had immunity. If you don't know about this, go and research it, go and look at it. It's a well-known fact. Under the Damages by Vaccine Act 1976, which was brought in after the WHO with a vaccine called Pandermrix for the so-called flu pandemic, which was an outbreak back then. Uh, there was one before that. They brought this in and yes, they gave Big Pharma immunity from prosecution over it. But you could still sue and claim compensation for any damages, adverse effects, etc., even death, which there was back then in 76. Um, but the tab would be picked up by the government, not Big Pharma. Who were the ones making the money? In other words, we would have to pay our own... That was quick. <laughs> our own compensation basically. Has this been repealed? I know they modified it and limited the amount of compensation you could claim, but as far as I know, the Damages by Vaccine Act 1976 has never, ever been repealed. So basically, what they're saying now is a load of bollocks. You know, their the contempt for us is, is just blatantly obvious. They, they just don't give a shit. I mean, Scotland, look at Cranky. Now, even her own party now are saying, go, piss off. Now the corruption has been exposed where she's taken money, put it places where it's not going to be used by the people for what it was supposed to be for i.e. helping people. She's used it for her own pet projects. And just to show how bad, Boris, you listening to this, what you have created in this country, we have the poor robbing the poor. People are robbing food banks. Now, one in particular that I've seen about is um, one down in Margate. I can't remember what it was called, but this is a voluntary thing that they did for the local residents. And they have been robbed of their food stocks three times in the last 12 months. Whoever's doing that, if you're trying to feed your family... Don't forget there's other people that need feeding out there, not just you. But this is the society, the society this government has created. And it's only going to get worse. A lot worse. And what really, really pisses me off is every time one of these assholes stands in front of a frigging camera saying how hard it's going to be, lying through their teeth, stealing money from us. They've got in smiles on their faces. I, for one, would like to just wipe them smiles off their faces. It, again, it just shows their absolute contempt for the people of this country. <coughs> I'm going to leave it there for today, folks. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen how long I've been going because I had to stop <laughs> to let the cat out who's now let herself back in and it's bloody freezing with the window open. <laughs> um, if there is a video tomorrow, um, 
it will probably be a short one and it will probably be up be up very very early um i've got an old friend of mine coming round um he's bringing his new partner round to introduce to us and uh i want to spend some time with them that he's been a good friend of mine through all my illnesses he's always been there for me he called in regular to check on me make sure there was nothing i needed make sure i was all right and i i will give him any amount of time above everything else but until the next one people as i always say my respects to each and every one of you thank you for your continuing support as I don't usually beg for subs, but feel free to share this channel out there. I don't do Facebook, but feel free to share it through Facebook, whatever platforms you use. And until we meet again, obviously, stay safe, stay strong. You know what's coming next. Stay free from the fear and the corruption that these assholes are putting us through. Live your life how you see fit. Respects, guys.